What made you rewrite it? Guess I finally realized what I was saying, how I was saying it. I've been reveling in this town's sickness, and I was enjoying the suffering of another person, even if it was Mr. Honey. This is about Mr. Honey's letter, isn't it? What does he say in it? Hey, guys. Hey, Jellybean. Uh, now's not the best time. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this was on our doorstep. Everything's alive. Everything's alive. More house shots? Maybe it's another copycat? Maybe it's an invitation. Yeah, but where? That place doesn't even look like it's in Riverdale. No, but I've seen this place before. That's the cabin where Veronica's mom killed Sheriff Mineta, where they had their affair. I'll go get my keys. Looks like a makeshift screen. This projector reminds me of the ones we used to have at the drive-in. There's no film in it, though. Mr. Kuntz, greetings from Riverdale High. I wanted to follow up on our conversation with a short note. Though Jughead Jones has had an incredibly difficult year, as you know, and I've only interacted with him a scant few times, he is a special kid, and he is a superb writer. But he needs a break, he needs good teachers, and a healthy environment, which I know the University of Iowa can provide. I don't say this lightly. But I do believe Jughead Jones will be an important voice of his generation. If you'd like to discuss him further, please call me at any time. All my best to you and Edith. Sincerely, Holden Honey. <laughs> 